Hey, what is up guys? Brandon with Backdraft. Um, so I told y'all, actually I promised you that there would be no more uh, months long gaps in between videos. And I fully intended to honor that, but I fudged up. I dropped my laptop, y'all. Dropped it right on the screen. Uh, let's see there. Oh yeah, there it is right there. You can see. Yeah, man, that thing was smashed up pretty good. But I got it fixed, and I got it fixed uh, relatively inexpensively. But the problem is, it took a little while. Uh, it took a little while to get the part in, and um, and the guy that was fixing it. I mean, you know, he had stuff going on too. I get it. So anyway, uh, but in the meantime, all that I had all that footage on there that I had yet to edit um, of our of our trip to Idaho um, and Oregon. So everything's fixed now. Those videos are edited, so I hope you guys enjoy the last few videos of our our trip out west. Thanks for watching. What is up guys welcome on back to the channel backdraft lure company um hope you guys are enjoying this little uh this little western western vacation series so far uh actually we are on the move again we uh we have come about um uh, about an hour and some change south of the farm uh we're in a little town called jordan valley oregon um little little history of this place um Back in the early 1900s, it, uh, it actually used to be a silver mining town. And um, they, um, I think they actually do, still do some um, like precious metal mining, like zinc, uh, lead, copper, stuff like that, uh, you know, up a little ways from here. But um, I, let me show you what's crazy here. <laughs> it's, um, it's actually almost like nine o'clock at night. It's, it's like 10 minutes till nine. And, uh, and the sun has just set yeah so it's you know uh in tennessee it'd be full dark right now but i'll tell you what though like it's crazy like you just drive a little ways out of town and uh and the landscape changes i mean it just changes so much um you know obviously we got uh a lot of mountains around us and this is a very mountainous region as um as as the name jordan valley would imply uh over down in a valley but um yeah so uh, we're at stephanie's aunt's house aunt marie uh we've come to stay with her for the night and then tomorrow i i don't know what other kind of adventures we're going to get into but i know we're going bass fishing uh, we're going to a river somewhere and we may actually hit a couple lakes so that's uh it's gonna be fun but yeah we're gonna uh we're gonna hang out with aunt marie tonight we uh we actually brought uh stephanie's grandmother's 
of a motorhome here because you know little uh, excuse me little house you know not uh not exactly set up for guests so we brought uh we brought stephanie's grandma uh we brought grandma grandma bev's over home and this is where uh, me and stephanie and little girl are gonna sleep tonight so uh stephanie's been in here she's got uh all our all our lodging set up um i'm gonna bring all my tackle in here in just a few minutes and get it all set up and uh and yeah that's the plan for tomorrow is we're gonna do a little bass fishing and uh and get into you know whatever else we get into but i tell you man i i mean the views which i mean you can't see it from here i'll try to get some more video of it later but i mean i mean the views in this place are just incredible um you know i'm a tennessee boy and i'll never leave tennessee but man i tell you what this is just some beautiful beautiful country out here and speaking of beautiful there's my beautiful wife right there hey look at that booty <laughs> oh man <laughs> oh so yeah that's the plan for tonight um and then uh we'll just uh we'll just see what kind of you know what kind of adventures tomorrow brings so there again appreciate you guys watching i hope you're enjoying hope you're enjoying the series so far and uh we will see you for some bass fishing in the morning All right, so we are here and walking down to the river. This is a flowing river. I did not know that would be the case. Figured it would be sort of a more stagnant type area, but that's okay. They say there's smallmouth in here, so uh, I'm gonna start out. I'm gonna throw this crankbait a little bit. I don't know how how well that's gonna do, but. We'll throw it a couple of times, see what we get, and then I think I'm gonna throw a shaky head. So we'll see what we get. We got a lot of a lot of river to fish here. <laughs> you see him? And say I think it's hooked weedless, so it should not. Uh... Shall we go down by Aunt Marie? Yeah, yeah. I can't. I can't tell if it's banging on the rocks or if it's an actual fish. It's hard to hard to tell. Well, guys, so in a twist, in a twist, I did not expect. <clears throat> Ended up tying on a a black popper, and that sealed the deal. I just caught one off camera. I had to change out batteries, so let's try that again. So it's kind of quick action here. Yes. There's another one in here. I promise there is. I got I got to get one on camera here. Something keeps uh something keeps slapping at it. So I gotta so it may not be good for the camera y'all but i gotta keep my rod tip way up so i can keep it in the strike zone longer because if 
I let my line down in the water, it takes it away. There we go. Ha <laughs> ha, <laughs> look at there. Don't you hook me now. Ha <laughs> ha, look at that little guy. Sweet. There we go. There's another one. Oh, oh he's still on there. He little. Well, I don't know. He's about the same size as the rest of them. Yeah, baby. It pretty well should. <laughs> Oh, it's on the GoPro. Oh, that's right. I forgot There's one. Right as it hit the water. <coughs> Ooh, he's got a little fight to him. Stop. Ah. Ah. Pretty little smally. All right, fella. Oh man, look at here, guys. Like it was made just for me. We may actually get to throw a, a spinner bait or a chatter bait right here. Let's try this, uh, try this butt nugget first.
There we go, on the butt nugget. I got one on the butt nugget. Sweet. Ah. Sweet. Ah. It vibrates as it goes through the water. There we go. One on the shutter bug. Ah, ah. Yep. Sweet. All right. John touring outdoors. This one's for you. <laughs> There's one right there. Yeah. Hey. There we go. I uh, got one on. Uh, got one on John's lure. <laughs> Ew. John, there you go. On the striker.
So many different lures we can catch them on before we go. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> There's one right there. There we go. Got him. Ah, sweet. Ow. Sweet. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. Hey Tori, look, I got a fish. Look, Tori. That's a little bit bigger. Yeah. No, you didn't mean to hit. Ooh, it's a little fish, but it's bigger. No, not bigger. Oh, that one. Mm-hmm. Uh-oh. There you got it. Had one on. There we go. <laughs> Sweet. Hey guys, me again. So that video you just watched, um, there was an ending film to it. I, I just have no idea what happened to it. I guess in the process of, um, of getting the laptop fixed, I don't, um, I don't know if it got lost or if that footage got deleted. Uh, like I said, I did actually film an ending to it. Um, <clears throat> but I'll just go ahead and do the ending right now. That was a lot of fun. Uh, we caught a lot of fish, of course. You know, I mean, I, I didn't catch anything big, but I mean, those are those are native river smallmouth, and that was really, really kind of fun to go out there and catch those. Uh, uh, you know, especially on a variety of lures, especially some of mine. So, all the all the lures that I caught them on, I will put those links down below. Uh, and yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, and we'll see you on the next one.